say the uh, charger, you didn't come with the charger, right? Okay, okay good.
Jesus Christ. Peace in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Our live stream uh, camera. The battery went dead. So we had to wait for the live stream to come up. Because we want the audience. Those that are not privileged to be in Uganda, those that are watching all over the world, we want to make sure that this moment do not pass them back. Because I was about to say something. I asked if the, the camera was on. Amen, amen. If you're watching, I just want to get very much on this. Amen. If you're watching, I want you to make sure that you have. Amen. The hour has come. So if you're watching us, this is time for you to get something because we are going to pray for the sick. So if you have water, you can use that to pray for the sick. So have water as a point of contact, just get a glass. If you have a sick one, make sure that they drink that water. For those that are not privileged to be here, I'm talking to those watching us now on television, those on social media, a point of contact. Why did I mention water? It's something everybody drinks. Some people don't drink oil, but people drink water. Amen. Amen. So just get it as a point of contact. You have a baby, a child that is sick, a child you want to lay hand and pray for the destiny of that child. At this moment, you don't need to pray. Just lay hand. Just take one of the prophets. Because now you have prayed. This is time to prophesy. Are you going to prophesy to yourself? As I will speak. And once we decree here. Whatever we decree right now. Heaven has no option. No choice. But to honor me. Listen to me. Whatever I speak now, I am not giving an option to heaven and to honor it. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Because I'm here to do the work that He sent me to do. And He said to me, Whatever you speak in my name, I will honor you. When your president sent the representative, when your president sent a representative to represent him, whatever he is speaking at that moment, he is speaking as the president. Because at that moment, he is occupying the office of the president. So as a servant of the Most High God, I am going to speak as a God. Because I am occupying the office of my Father. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your hands and use 60 seconds to prophesy to yourself. Whenever you prophesy to yourself, you have prayed in your languages. Now you can speak if you want to speak in English. The disciples asked them, asked Jesus, how come the disciples of John the Baptist fast and pray? They asked Jesus to teach them how to pray. 
Now you have prayed. Now you are going to speak like a God. Just where God asks Moses to speak. That is how you are going to speak. And everything you have spoken. We are going to bring it to conclusion from this, from this very place. We are going to speak. Everything you have spoken. So if you are watching us, this is the prophetic time. You prophesy to that water you have. You will speak to that water. You prophesy to your life. In 60 seconds, you prophesy to the church. In 60 seconds, and that 60 seconds counts now. In the name of Jesus. No music. music. Everybody is a person. We partake in this prophetic knowledge. Because you are speaking to yourself right now. You are activating yourself right now. And as you speak, you will see God honoring you. In the name of Jesus, prophesy to your life.
He has spoken to be revealed unto me. And I speak with the great confidence I have in the name of Jesus. And I speak with the great confidence I have in Him, knowing that this moment, that distance is not a barrier. He spoke in Jerusalem and it came to fruition in Kapenu. Now I'm going to speak in Uganda. And those all over Africa will hear the word. Those all over Asia will hear the word. Those all over America will hear the word. Those all over Europe will hear the word. Those all over Australia and Antarctica will hear the word of God. And be free from bondage. In the name of Jesus. Every oppression holding you backward. That strong man that has held you captive. That word that was spoken over your children that they will amount to nothing. That generation of demons. <laughs> 